Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together of studying the Bible one chapter at a time. I'm writing a short devotional thought on each chapter of the Bible, and then I'm sharing that thought with you. Today we're looking at Ephesians chapter 4. Are you walking in a manner worthy of the calling of Jesus Christ? What a big question. Paul asks us this in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 1 through 3. I, therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Okay, so he didn't phrase it as a question. He commanded us to walk in a manner worthy of the gospel. The Koine Greek word translated worthy means fitting or proper in corresponding to what should be expected. Proper, properly, fitting, worthy of, corresponding to. So when Paul exhorts us to walk in a manner worthy of the calling, what he is saying is this, ensure your life corresponds with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Make sure that your life, your thoughts, your actions, your words, behaviors, they line up with the teachings of Jesus and his good news. Do you live like someone who's been saved? Are you living a born again life, spirit filled? Do people see God's grace working in you and through you? Now, speaking of grace, a major emphasis of Paul's writing is that we can't live this life. We can't live a life worthy of our calling apart from the work of God. We need to submit our lives fully to Christ. And when we empty ourselves, he fills us fully to his spirit and we can now walk in grace. Now, from this passage in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 1 through 3, Paul gives some criteria to know whether you're walking in a manner worthy of the gospel. Now, this helps us know where we need to invite God to work more fully in our lives. It's a chance for us to repent, to be emptied of ourselves, to forsake all. Okay, the first area, humility. <laughs> Second area, gentleness. Third area, patience. Fourth area, bearing with one another in love. Fifth area, eager to maintain unity in the spirit. Sixth area, eager to maintain the bond of peace. Now, honestly, we could do a sermon series on each of those six things and spend the rest of the year talking about them. Interestingly, there are intersections between these criteria found here in Ephesians 4 and Paul's fruit of the Spirit that he talks about in Galatians 5. Check that out. So, how are you doing in your walk? Does your life demonstrate Monday through Saturday what you proclaim to believe when you gather as his church on Sundays? This is our faith. This is our witness. Seize the moment and walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called. You've been saved for this. Seize the moment.